Good afternoon. Will you please stand for the national anthem sung by Jennifer Manuel? Oh, see, And bright stars for the pity lost fight for the rope that we watched were so gallantly streaming on the rocket red glare. The bombs were sick in the air. We moved through the night that our flag. Please be seated. Again, good afternoon. I'm Don Gatsky, Dean of the School of Architecture. On behalf of the assembled departments represented here today, I would like to welcome you to the fall 2012 commencement ceremony for the School of Architecture and the College of Science. Allow me to begin by introducing the marshals and the stage party. Serving as student marshals, the Associate Dean of Science, Dr. James Grover, and Dr. Norma Figueroa, Assistant Professor of Interior Design. <laughs> Representing the academic departments in the School of Architecture. From the Program of Landscape Architecture, serving as faculty marshal is Associate Professor Jim Richards. <laughs> Director and Associate Professor of the Interior Design Program, Rebecca Bowles. <laughs> Director and Associate Professor of Architecture, Bijan Yousafzadeh. And then the Associate Dean of Architecture, David Jones. <laughs> Representing the Honors College, Assistant Dean, Dr. Tim Henry. <laughs> Representing the Graduate School, Associate Dean, Dr. Joe Jackson. <laughs> we are honored to have with us today the University Provost and Vice President, Dr. Ron Elsenbomber. My colleague, the Dean of the College of Science, Dr. Pamela Jansma. Our guest speaker for today, Dr. Lee Kristenik. Representing the academic departments in the College of Science. The Chair of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Dr. John Wickham. The Chair of Biology, Dr. Jonathan Campbell. The Associate Chair of Chemistry and Biochemistry, Dr. Fred McDonnell. The Chair of Mathematics, Dr. Yansun Su. The Chair of Physics, Dr. Alex Weiss. The Chair of Psychology and serving as Faculty Marshal, Dr. Robert Gatchell. The announcer for the College of Science is senior chemistry lecturer, Dr. Jimmy Rogers. The associate professor of landscape architecture and faculty marshal is David Hopman. And then other faculty from the School of Architecture, Dr. Madden Mehta, 
Dr. Kate Holliday, Professor Lee Wright, Professor Steve Cavedo, Professor John McDermott, Dr. Douglas Clark, Professor Albert Marischal, Professor Joshua Nason, Professor Brad Bell, and Dr. Tanir Azdil. Representing the College of Education and Health Professions, which has a student participating in our ceremony today, uh, Dr. Barbara Tobolowski. And finally, it wouldn't be commencement without the UT Arlington Jazz Orchestra, conducted by Dr. Tim Ishii. And so, we are honored to have a very special maverick leader with us today. Ron Elsenbomber has served as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at the University of Texas at Arlington since October of 2011. Prior to his appointment as Provost, Dr. Elsenbomber was the Vice President for Research and Federal Relations and also served as Chair of the Department of, of, the Departments of Chemistry and Materials Science Engineering. He has played a significant role in strengthening the university's research profile, particularly in the areas of science, engineering, biotechnology, and nanotechnology. Dr. Elsenbomber has been a tireless advocate for our university in North Texas, Austin, Washington, D.C., and beyond. And we are so pleased that he is here today to celebrate with you. Please join me in welcoming Provost Ron Elsenbomber. Well, thank you, Dean Gatsky. And good afternoon, Mavericks. What, what an incredible day today is. Commencement is such a special occasion in the life of our university, and I am privileged to be here with you today to celebrate this ceremony and to represent our president, Jim Spaniolo, as well as the leadership here at the University of Texas at Arlington. I'm pleased to welcome our graduates, families, friends, and faculty to the first December commencement ceremonies to be held here in this beautiful College Park Center and what a fitting place it is to hold such a significant event as commencement and to share experiences and memories that will last us all a lifetime. Today, as our graduates begin the next chapter of their lives, so too do we begin the next chapter of UT Arlington's history. The university you graduate from today is vastly different from the one you entered as a student. And with the rapid pace of change taking place here at UT Arlington, you'll continue to witness and be a part of our ongoing transformation in the years ahead. As students, and very soon to be alumni, of UT Arlington, you're part of a university that is well on its way to becoming a tier one institution. A tier one institution is all about highly educated and well-prepared graduates. Graduates just like you, who will be our next generation of entrepreneurs and artists, our next generation of humanitarians and inventors, and our next generation of leaders and citizens in our society. Graduates, as we celebrate your important milestone today, let us not forget those that have supported you along the way and helped you get to this important moment in your life. So, graduates, I'm going to ask you to please stand. Please stand and give a huge round of applause for all of those here in the College Park Center and elsewhere who helped you get to where you are today. Absolutely. 
Congratulations to our class of 2012. I'm going to ask you not to be strangers. We look forward to seeing you back here on our campus, both soon and often. Thank you, and remember, once a maverick, always a maverick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Elson Baumer. We are pleased that so many family and friends have joined us today. No matter how far you have come to join us, we welcome you. Your present presence means a lot to your student and to us. It is an honor to share the stage with them as we celebrate their accomplishments. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Lee Kristinik as our commencement speaker. Dr. Kristinik graduated from UT Arlington in 1977 with a BS in geology. He went on to complete his master's and doctoral degrees in geology at Princeton University. He is currently the principal and founder of Fossil Creek Resources based here in Arlington. Prior to this successful venture, he was global chief geologist for ConocoPhillips and also held positions with Union Pacific Resources, Reservoirs, Inc., and the U.S. Geological Survey. He is currently president-elect of the American Association of Petroleum Geologists, and we are delighted to welcome him back to campus today. Please join me in giving a warm, maverick welcome to Dr. Lee Kristinik. Wow. It's great to be back here, guys. What a spectacular facility, and what wonderful shining faces I see out here. This is wonderful. I'm thrilled to be back here. Provost Elson Baumer, uh, Dean Yansma, uh, Dean Yatsky, Gatsky, excuse me, uh, faculty graduates, family and friends, uh, what a remarkable honor it is to be here. My whole family received degrees from UT Arlington, either, either graduate degrees or undergraduate. My mom, my dad, brother and sister, and myself, all are past Mavericks and still are to this day. Like you, I, or many of you, I worked my way through school here and then commuted to UTA in between jobs. The education I received here, though, has stood solidly, solidly by me throughout my graduate school and business career. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better education, and it, and it had prepared me remarkably well for the challenges that I would ultimately find both in science and in business. As graduates, you stand at the threshold of careers for further education or, or careers or further education. And all that you've done up to this point, and as, as you go forward, now you step forward into something that's a completely new stage in your lives. So this is where I'm supposed to tell you guys all this fantastic, wise, amazing counsel that I've gathered over all these years that I've been beating my head against rocks. Um, I wish that I had that. Instead, what I can offer to you is something that Mark Twain had to say about his business career, and it probably applies to me as well. And that is, to succeed in business, simply avoid my example. You probably should be fine after that. But, um, so instead, I'll offer you a, few, you a few insights that others have shared with me. My mom and dad taught me by example to over-communicate. My dad's an engineer. He communicates like this. My mom is an artist. She communicates like that. Um, in the process of communicating over 50 years, they've, show, they've shown me how important it is to be able to communicate one-on-one -on -one with each individual person that you're dealing with. And no matter what the very best intentions might be of the other person to listen to you and understand what you have to say, it's, it's remarkable how often our colleagues have phenomenal ability at misunderstanding us. So over-communicate at every opportunity you have. A man named L. Decker Dawson who started Dawson Geophysical Company quite a long time ago now, started with borrowing a, a few thousand dollars from his wife. He's built that into a multi, hundreds of millions of dollar industry. So I asked Decker one time when I had a chance to talk to him, Decker, how'd you get to be so remarkably successful? How did your company grow so well? He said, just three things. And he said, Decker, what's the secret? Well, the secret was, as far as Decker Dawson was concerned, he said, be sincere whether you mean it or not. I thought, that's a little bit strange. And then he said, and never complain and never explain. 
And so Decker, what in the heck does that mean? And what Decker then said was, the person you're dealing with across the desk from you or on that telephone is the most important person in the world while you're talking to that person. Retain focus on that person, listen to them with all your heart, and they will then respect and trust you in a way you could never gain it in any other way. And that comes with a tremendous amount of benefits that goes with that. Then he said, never complain. He said, nobody likes a whiner, that's obvious. And any time you point a finger at somebody, invariably, the exact opposite impact that you would have hoped for is what's going to likely happen. And thirdly, he said, never explain. Why never explain? He said, never ever put yourself in a position where you have to explain to anybody, to anybody, why it is you didn't get your job done and why it wasn't delivered on time in a proper fashion. So Decker Dawson's a pretty smart guy and I can understand why he got to be where he is. Now Charlie Dodge, Dr. Charles F. Dodge, who used to be the chairperson of the, of the Department of Geology here at UTA, used to have a motto. And it was a motto I never quite understood during the time that I worked with him there. But he had a motto of fail big and fail fast. It's like, Charlie, what in the heck are you talking about with fail big and fail fast? How about succeed grandly? And his comment was, if you're ever going to make success, if you're ever going to push something forward, by definition, the likelihood of a failure somewhere along that path is very, very likely. So if you're going to go ahead and fail, fail big because the chance of significant success big success happens with big risk. If you fail small, you might recover from that. That's not nearly as painful. But if you fail small, you, your likely success is, well, yeah, he kind of sort of did. OK. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with um, Ernest Shackleton and the story of, of the endurance and his voyage to the Antarctic, a failed voyage to the Antarctic. They spent two years broken up on the ice. But what, Sh what Shackleton did to be able to make up for that was he sailed 800 miles in a 20-foot long boat across unforgiving seas with 50 to 60-foot waves against 70 and 80 mile an hour gales and was able to hit a tiny island 800 miles away. During that span of time, there, was only, there were only four times they could take celestial sightings over that two-week long trip sailing through those horrible waves. If he had missed the island, he and his crew of five or six on that little boat would have sailed right out into the southern Atlantic and never been seen again, and he would have died in those cold waves and white caps, leaving, knowing that he left the rest of his crew behind to die on the ice. So that speaks to the fact of two things with Mr. Shackleton. One was that he was the epitome of absolutely positive spirit and perseverance. He stuck with it. He did not let go. He continued pushing forward and he kept a positive attitude in the face of remarkable challenges. The other thing that he, he did was he applied his skills remarkably well. What an amazing thing to actually nail a tiny little island out through waves way higher and way lower than we could have used a sextant through and hit it 800 miles away. So his technology and his perseverance and his positive spirit was a big piece of it. I used to have a manager by the name of Dick Castle. He's probably the best manager I ever had. Dick liked to call himself America's geologist. Why? Not because he considered himself that, but because he was a jokester. He had fun. He enjoyed what he did. The other thing Dick did was he, he focused not only on having teams that were motivated and working with each other, he focused on teams that actually stood up and debated with one another. It is not enough to sit there and nod your head and kumbaya and everybody be a happy group. You have to stand up and respectfully challenge each other if you're going to have really significant progress in any set of ideas. And I guess one of the things I'd really like to hit you on, this is a biggie. Okay, this one actually counts as a big thing in life. And it's taught to me, I'm not going to mention those names. These folks will remain nameless, but they're people I've seen a number of times in my life they're the people who've proven out the statement, when we act on our fears, we're most likely to make them come true. If I am offensive toward you because I'm afraid you're going to think poorly of me, your likelihood is going to be pretty much you're going to think poorly of me. So that's a very important component. Well, finally now, I want, I'll go ahead and close things up here just a little bit. I want to wish you guys your very good fortune going forward. 
I'd like to encourage you to share with others. Share everything you've learned as often as you can with the people around you. Help them whenever you can. Let them know no matter how, how hard or how, how difficult the work may be, you're there and you've got their back. If you do that, not only will you brighten your own life, you'll brighten theirs and you'll make the world a better place in the process. And I'd like to close by wishing you all great success in whatever you do. And I'd love to think that everything's going to be really easy for you. And with this fantastic education you've got from UTA, there's a very good chance it's going to be a lot easier than it will be for a bunch of people out there. But when, and I didn't say if, when things become really challenging, when life presents you with difficulties, forge ahead. Forge ahead as aggressively as you can. Do what you believe is right. Treat others with respect. And more than anything else, one of the things I've found is this real secret to being able to have a good life in business and in work is remember to have fun. This is, life is wonderful. It's an, an, a great opportunity to have fun. And um, I guess I would like to say to you guys, I hope you all enjoy the adventure that's coming up. I hope you have as much fun as I have. And I will say this, and this is actually absolutely fact. There is, this is in no small part due to the, my education at, at UTA. Without UTA's education, I would not have been able to see some of the wonderful things that I've seen all over the world in my life. I wish you grand success and great good times. Go Mavericks and hooray for all the graduates here. Dr. Kristinik, we're proud of your accomplishments and so pleased to count you as one of our own. Thank you for your time and for your remarks. At this time, we will recognize those individuals who have completed the requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy degree in science. Will doctoral candidates please stand? These candidates for doctoral degrees have fully completed the curricula prescribed by the Graduate Assembly for their respective degrees. I recommend that they re be recognized at this time. Will the candidates please come forward? From the Department of Biology, Elizabeth Stolte McGinty, Doctor of Philosophy, Biology, Supervising Professor, Dr. Laura Midlars. Betty Scarborough Zetoon, Doctor of Philosophy, Biology, Supervising Professor, Dr. James Grover. Coleman Sheehy, Doctor of Philosophy, Biology, Supervising Professor, Dr. Eric Smith. From the Department of Chemistry, Maher Al Rashdan, Doctor of Philosophy, Chemistry, Supervising Professor, Dr. Frederick McDonnell.
Joseph Aslan, Doctor of Philosophy, Chemistry, Supervising Professor, Dr. Frederick McDonnell. Imran Hussein, Doctor of Philosophy, Chemistry, Supervising Professor, Dr. Subra Mandel. <laughs> Saba Kassiri. Doctor of Philosophy, Chemistry, Supervising Professor, Dr. Subra Mandal. <laughs> Siranta Pereira. Doctor of Philosophy, Chemistry. Supervising Professor, Dr. Daniel Armstrong. <laughs> From the Department of Earth and Environmental Science, Leila Ahmadi. Doctor of Philosophy, Earth and Environmental Science, Supervising Professor, Dr. Uh, Anjomani. <laughs> From the Department of Physics, Kapil Adhikari. Doctor of Philosophy, Physics, Supervising Professor, doc Dr. Asif Ray. <laughs> Yansha Huang, Doctor of Philosophy, Physics, Supervising Professor, Dr. Yue Dong. <laughs> Billy Quarles, Doctor of Philosophy, Physics, Supervising Professor, Dr. Jishua Mushlak. Anjani Lewister Walden Ross, Doctor of Philosophy, Physics, Supervising Professor, Dr. Ali Koyman. <laughs> Shane Spivey, Doctor of Philosophy, Physics, Supervising Professor, Dr. Jishua Musilak. From the Department of Psychology, Christopher Hagens, Doctor of Philosophy, Psychology, Supervising Professor, Dr. Rambo Peng.
At this time, we will recognize those individuals who have completed the requirements for the master's degrees in the School of Architecture. Will the candidates Will the candidates for master's degrees in both architecture and landscape architecture please rise? We are pleased we are pleased to recognize that these candidates who upon the satisfactory completion of their current semester of academic work will have com fully completed the curricula prescribed by the Graduate Assembly for their respective degrees. Will the candidates please come forward. Stephen Bundy, Master of Architecture. Christine Cagliostro, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Ernesto Campos, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Jose Luis Diaz, Master of Architecture. Milad Farishtinajad, Master of Architecture. Armando Garcia, Master of Architecture. Tai Dai Lee, Master of Architecture. Carlos Morales, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Ali Mojehi, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Master of Architecture, I apologize. <laughs> Victor Mosqueda, Master of Architecture. John Pathak, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Julio Perez, Master of Architecture. Rumana Rasek, Master of Architecture. Joaquin Reyes, Master of Architecture. Yeah. Amber Davis, Master of Landscape Architecture. Leonel de Souza, Master of Landscape Architecture. <laughs> Feng Xiuen, Master of Landscape Architecture. <laughs> Lin Yao, Master of Landscape Architecture. Nasla Manandar, Master of Landscape Architecture. <laughs> Ho 
Hong Meng, Master of Landscape Architecture. Mei Shein, Master of Landscape Architecture. Jack Phillips, Master of Landscape Architecture. Alexandra Romero, Master of Landscape Architecture. And Wu Jia Ying, Master of Landscape Architecture. At this time, we will recognize those individuals who have completed the requirements for master's degrees in science. Will the candidates for master's degrees in science please rise? These candidates who upon the satisfactory completion of their current semester academic work will have fully completed the curricula prescribed by the graduate assembly for their respective degrees. Will the candidates please come forward? from the Department of Biology, Athena Jagdish, Master of Science, Biology. From the Department of Chemistry, Nagam Alatrash, Master of Science, Chemistry. Sriani Leonagay, Master of Science, Chemistry. From the Department of Geology, Mandy Beck, Master of Science, Geology. David Nirup Maldonado, Master of Science, Geology. Annette Maxwell, Master of Science, Earth and Environmental Science. Jessica Minley, Master of Science, Earth and Environmental Science. Lisa Moran, Master of Science, Geology. Theophilus Ogerinola, Master of Science, Earth and Environmental Science. Shikar Oja, Master of Science, Earth and Environmental Science. <laughs> Ugo Chuku Jimdi Ononugu, Master of Science, Earth and Environmental Science. <laughs> Joseph Stefan Salazar, Master of Science, Earth and Environmental Science. Rene Ovalle, Master of Science, Geology. Kristen Robinson, Master of Science, Geology. Karen Kuo, Master of Arts, Interdisciplinary Studies. Blake Christopher Wade, Master of Arts, Interdisciplinary Science.
Janice Weisner, Master of Arts, Interdisciplinary Science. Kimberly Buckmeyer, Master of Arts, Mathematics. Stephanie Hicks, Master of Arts, Mathematics. Jane Rochelle Knight, Master of Arts, Mathematics. Veronica Meeks, Master of Arts, Mathematics. Emily Tang, Master of Arts, Mathematics. Gerald Purnell Wilson, Master of Arts, Mathematics. Krishna Prasad Acharya, Master of Science, Mathematics. Jeremy Aaron Glass, Master of Science, Mathematics. Grant Griffin, Master of Science, Mathematics. John Griffiths, Master of Science, Mathematics. Julie Skinner Sutton, Master of Science, Mathematics. Hao Wen Tang, Master of Science, Mathematics. From the Department of Physics, Brian Black, Master of Science, Physics. From the Department of Psychology, Meredith Hartzell, Master of Science, Psychology. Colin Jenny, Master of Science, Psychology. Yanfei Lu, Master of Science, Psychology. Michael Nautician, Master of Science, Psychology. Nicole Sharp, Master of Science, Psychology. From the College of Education and Health Professions, Laurie Semple is receiving a Master of Education, Educational Leadership and Policy Studies. Laurie's dip diploma is being presented by Dr. Barbara Tobolowski, Assistant Professor of Educational Leadership and Policy. now recognize the candidates who upon satisfactory completion of their current semester of academic work will have met all the requirements for their Bachelor of Science degrees as specified by the faculty of the School of Architecture and the undergraduate assembly. Students graduating with honors today as a result of having achieved a very high grade point average are designated as cum laude, summa cum laude, or magna cum laude and are distinguished by wearing a yellow honors cord as part of their academic gown. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Science degrees in architecture and interior design please stand and come forward to be recognized. Garrett Ammerman, Bachelor of Science in Architecture. Morgan Champagne, Bachelor of Science, 
architecture cum laude. Caitlin Cheshire, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Chris Chrysler, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Cody Connell, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Kiri Cox, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Casey Dockstader, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Samantha Doty, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Magna Cum Laude. Marco Gonzalez, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Chance Heath, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Stephen Hernandez, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Doc Hua Chin, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Bruce Kitchell, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Cum Laude. Matthew Lopez, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Laura Loyola, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Najib Manzoor, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Cum Laude. Bernice Martinez, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Diana Nevins, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Cum Laude. Christy Pearson, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Daniel Nagy Phillip, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Thomas Reed, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Seeger, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Russell Southard, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Summa Cum Laude. Sophia Thomas Bailey, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Cum Laude. Seiya Suzuki, Bachelor of Science, Architecture. Megan Wolf, Bachelor of Science, Architecture, Cum Laude. Laura Quintero, Bachelor of Science, Interior Design. Please join me in congratulating our graduates. We will now recognize those individuals who have completed requirements for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees. Representing the Department of Biology, Dr. Jonathan Campbell.
Thank you, Dean Yanzma. First, I'd like to introduce the other faculty members from the Department of Biology who are with us today. Michelle Badan, Laura Midlars, Jim Grover, who is also the Associate Dean of Science, Eric Smith, Tim Henry, who's also the Assistant Dean of the Honors College, and Sean Christensen. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in biology please stand and come forward to be recognized? Aya Abdel Latif, Bachelor of Science Biology. Etenish Abebe, Bachelor of Arts Biology. Anam Abid, Bachelor of Science Biology. Savara Akramova, Bachelor of Science Biology. Moshtaba Alavi, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Talene Baliozian, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Carolina Bayesa, ba Bachelor of Science, Biology. Kara Bauer, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Noah Belleville, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Maria Bombal, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Charles Michael Blanchard, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Garrett Blankenship, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Cum Laude. Barbie Buapan, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Amanda Boyles, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Afia Boulos, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Patrick James Butler, Bachelor of Science, Microbiology. Yeset Caldas, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Cum Laude. Elaine Carter, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Kristen Michelle Clark, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Denise Contreras, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Donna Dyke, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Ashrat Denico, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Cameron Dodd, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Alawunmi Esho, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Michelle Espinosa Salceda, receiving two degrees today. Bachelor of Science, Microbiology, Bachelor of Science, Biology.
Michael James Fanning, Bachelor of Science, Microbiology. Masa Gary, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Kyle Barrett Harbuck, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Ashley Harris, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Valerie Maxine Hernandez, Bachelor of Science Biology, summa cum laude. Nora Hoy, Bachelor of Science Biology. Mohammed Sarosh Hussein, Bachelor of Science Biology. Philip Ramsey Jackson, Bachelor of Science Biology. Aji Jate, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Christina Jefferson, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Nishal Raj Joshi, Bachelor of Science, Microbiology, Cum Laude. Trevor Dylan Kanak, Bachelor of Science Biology, magna cum laude. Adil Khan, Bachelor of Science Biology, magna cum laude. Shayla Danielle Khan, receiving two degrees today, Bachelor of Science Microbiology and Bachelor of Science Biology. Umer Khan, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. Elnaz Koyi, Bachelor of Science Biology. Courtney Kovar, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. Brandon Lacey, Bachelor of Science Biology. Arati Lama, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Vanessa Light, Bachelor of Science Biology. <laughs> Dipin Maharjan, Bachelor of Science Microbiology. <laughs> Mark McCory, Bachelor of Arts Biology, Cum Laude. Jalante McEwen, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Cheyenne Morris, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. <laughs> Silvia Nera, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kim Mai Wen. Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Liam Wynn, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Tiffany Wynn, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Jillian Michelle North, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Stephen Obonio, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Norma Ochoa, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Gladys Agbana, Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Dylan Parks, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Nisha Patel, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Ch 
Chastity Patterson, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Caitlin McKenzie Patty, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Catherine Fan, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Christopher Ryan Powers, Bachelor of Science Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Shannon Pugh, Bachelor of Science Biology. Nita Raja, Bachelor of Arts Biology. Alexis Ramirez, Bachelor of Science Biology. Bidusi Rana, Bachelor of Science Biology. John Rankin, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. Saroj Raut, Bachelor of Science Biology. Lizette Rendon, Bachelor of Science Biology. Paul Rogers, Bachelor of Science Biology. Tareem Shad, Bachelor of Science Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Vishal Sharma, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. Octavia Shorter, Bachelor of Science Biology. Smanta Shrestha, Bachelor of Science Biology. Sonia Mary Simon, Bachelor of Science Biology. Ann Laura Spencer, Bachelor of Science Biology. Zara Syed, Bachelor of Science Biology. Suresh Timilsina, Bachelor of Science Biology. Christine Tran, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. Jerome Enigbogu Uberu, Jr., Bachelor of Science Biology. Ashley Sarah Varghese, Bachelor of Science Biology, Magna Cum Laude. K. Erica von Westernhagen, Bachelor of Science Biology. Cindy Vu, Bachelor of Science Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Blake David Weatherby, Bachelor of Science Biology. Renisha Williams, Bachelor of Arts Biology. Stacy Yang, receiving two degrees today, Bachelor of Science Biology, Bachelor of Science Microbiology, Cum Laude. Representing the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, Dr. Fred McDonnell, Associate Chair. Thank you, Dean, Yans Thank you, Dean Yansma. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce the members of the faculty who are here with us today. 
Uh, there is Provost and Professor Ron Elsenbomber, uh, Robert A. Welsh Chair and Professor Dan Armstrong, Professor Carl Lovely, uh, Pro uh, Associate Professor Subra Mundell, our senior lecturer and announcer today, Professor Jimmy Rogers, one of our announcers. Assistant Professor Kayunta Johnson Winters. And Assistant Professor Roshan Pereira. Okay. All right, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree in Chemistry and Biochemistry, or Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor of Science degrees, excuse me, in chemistry and biochemistry, please come forward and be recognized. Alice Borborn Sokol Chart, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry. Rebecca Denny, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry, Cum Laude. Rana L. Casey, receiving two degrees today, Bachelor of Science, Microbiology, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry. Beatriz Jael Garcia Barbosa, receiving a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, magna cum laude. <laughs> Ruby Garung, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry, magna cum laude. <laughs> Brian Michael Hunter, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry. <laughs> Philip Palacios, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry. Kevin Pham, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry, Cum Laude. Martin Sedtall, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry. Mahesh Takurati, Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry. Gerardo Hepe, Yepes, Yepes, a Bachelor of Science, Biological Chemistry. Representing the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences in the last ceremony of his 20-year term as chair of the department, Dr. John Wickham. Thank you. I'd like to introduce the faculty. First is Dr. Pam Yansma and Dr. Andrew Hunt. Uh, will the students with a bachelor's degree in geology and geoinformatics please stand and come forward to be recognized? Thank you. Randy Clark, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Thank you. 
Brennan Mark Cudd, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Dawn Michelle Dixon, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Ryan Guth, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Matthew Hamrick, Bachelor of Science, Geoinformatics. Alexandra Harrington, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Christopher Hendricks, Bachelor of Science, Geology, Cum Laude. Nirmal Singh Mahat, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Shane Peterson, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Michael T.Z. Reed, Bachelor of Science, Geology. William Joel Schiffer, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Nicole Oma Shiflet, Bachelor of Science, Geology, Summa Cum Laude. Lauren Ashley Woolston, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Representing the Department of Mathematics, Dr. John Song Su, Department Chair. Thank you, Dean Yansman. Let me introduce mathematics faculty members on the stage today Dr. James Apperson, Dr. Chen Pei Han. Now, Will the candidate for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in mathematics please stand and come forward to be recognized. Christopher Abrego, Bachelor of Science Mathematics, Cum Laude. John Paul Bumatai Alejandro, Bachelor of Science Mathematics. Brian Earl Davis, Bachelor of Science Mathematics. Ann Tu Dong, Bachelor of Arts Mathematics, Cum Laude. Oscar Jesus Jimenez, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. Kaim Joseph, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Clinton Paul Price, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. Hadib Rashid, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. <laughs> Catherine Christine Shalla, Bachelor of Arts, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Prabhudha Yogi, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics.
representing the Department of Physics. Dr. Alex Weiss, Department Chair. Thank you, Dean Jansma. First, I'd like to introduce the uh, faculty who are here with us today from physics. Uh, visiting assistant professor uh, Raymond Adafin. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, Professor Manfred Kunz. Assistant Professor Yue Deng. And Professor Giswav Muslak. Now, will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in physics please stand and come forward to be recognized? Safat Khaled, Bachelor of Science, Physics. Damon Watson, Bachelor of Science, Physics, Cum Laude. Representing the Department of Psychology in the last ceremony of his eight year term as department chair, Dr. Robert Gatchell. Thank you, uh, Dean Jansma. I would also like to uh, introduce other faculty members of the Department of Psychology who are with us today uh, Dr. Joe Jackson, who is the Associate Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Angela Dougal, Dr. Perry Fuchs, Dr. Jared Kenworthy, and Dr. Yuan Peng. Will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees in psychology please stand and come forward to be recognized. Graduating from the Honors College, Alyssa Allen, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Monica Alvarado, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Katia Calderon, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Matthew William Cardell, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Michelle Chasakwa, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Chloe Corbett, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Jacqueline Counter, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. (Applause) 
Ira Bianca Dizon, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Cum Laude. Gabriela Frausto, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Daniela Gonzalez Espino, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Ashley Cherie Han, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Christopher Chase Hambright, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Davina Tran Heathcote, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Eric Adam Hill, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emily Joy Hoy, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Tamara Cherie Jernigan, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jessica Lynn Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Joseph Keith Karasik, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Valerie Liege, receiving two degrees today, Bachelor of Science Biology, Bachelor of Science Psychology. Daniel Lewis, Bachelor of Science Psychology. Kelly McDonald, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Marissa Mendoza, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, summa cum laude. Nancy Marie Miller, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Amanda Elizabeth Ogden, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, cum laude. Evelyn Perry, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Marie Perguson, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Yelena Rockich, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Cum Laude. Miguel Ramirez, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Laura B. Ramos, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Caitlin Riley, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Cum Laude. Marissa Nicole Roberts, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Evelyn Rodriguez, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Marina Roman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Sneha Shankar, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Omari Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Anna Michelle Soka, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Cum Laude. Matthew Charles Summers, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Cum Laude. Vivian Ta, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Graduating from the Honors College, Man Yen Tam, Bachelor of Science Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Micah Travis, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Yeah. 
Brittany West, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Lisa Whitpen, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kayla Woodward, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel Salikovich, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Graduates, upon the completion of your degrees, UT Arlington is now your alma mater. Would you please rise for the singing of the alma mater, led by Jennifer Manuel. If I could ask, please, um, to have our guests sit. Thank you. And our graduates, please remain standing. Dean Yansma, Dean Gatsky, graduates, this is the moment you've been all waiting for. By virtue of the authority vested by law, in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system and delegated to the University of Texas at Arlington, I hereby confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates 23. 12, you now have your degrees. Congratulations. You may now switch your tassels to the left side. And for those graduates who received the official UT Arlington Maverick Ring, you may now turn your ring so that the UTA faces outward. This symbolizes that you have earned your UT diploma and you are now ready to face the world. From this day forward, all who encounter you 
will recognize you as a graduate of the University of Texas at Arlington. Congratulations. I would like to congratulate the graduates again for your accomplishments and wish you continued success as you begin the next chapter of your lives. As our ceremony concludes, the graduates will fall, follow behind the stage party using the center aisle to exit the arena. Please stay in line until you reach the outside exit onto Moritz Plaza. Guests, please exit by the north northeast or northwest doors and meet your graduates outside on Moritz Plaza, which will provide a safe location for you to find your graduates and begin your family celebrations. Thank you for your cooperation and again, congratulations.